Guys, there's a lot of false information that's being passed around about exactly how much money the average insurance agent actually makes versus how much money that same agent can make. I'll never forget speaking with an agency manager who lied so bad. <sighs> oh, she told me that all of her agents were making at least $100,000 per year. The kicker was that she was attempting to recruit me by offering me levels, you know, commission levels that were like way below 100%. I mean, she's like, well, this is our 100% level. The problem is that when I looked at the actual first year commission levels for the main carriers, most of them were actually like right around 70 to 80%. That's just wrong, dog. Today, we're gonna talk real numbers, like how much money you can make each month versus how much money you'll most likely make each month. And now is the perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And guys, if you're new, please smash down on that subscribe button. We're putting out new insurance sales training content every week. And if you'd like a copy of the medical questions page that, that I use, that, that our agents use during every single final expense and life insurance sales presentation, just stick around until the end of this video and I'm gonna show you how to get this for yourself. First, let's talk about how much money you can make each month and then we'll get into how much well, you'll probably end up making. Most insurance agencies have a system that they will recommend to their agents. Like we currently recommend selling final expense over the phone using our Facebook calendar appointments platform. And that way the agents can actually get like 20 to 30 appointments every day. And what we do is we personalize the landing pages with our agent's information. And that way, when the prospect fills out the, the form that's requesting more information about affordable burial insurance, they get directed to set an appointment on the agent's calendar. The agent calls the client, makes a sales presentation, overcomes some basic objections, and closes the sale. For the agent who isn't afraid to commit, I wanna say at least 1,000 to maybe $1,500 per week into generating their appointments and, and leads too, the potential to make I want to say at least $150,000 is absolutely a reality, but it does take a little more than that. First, the agent must have a very comfortable grasp on both using technology. Remember guys, we actually sell through the cloud, not over our cell phones. And second, the agent has to actually have some natural skills at building rapport and just being comfortable speaking with people over the phone. This is the type of agent who can easily average a profit margin of over $3,000 per week, week in and week out, and like all year long. And yes, I do work with some very special, talented agents that make a lot more than that each week. Just keep in mind, guys, this isn't the average agent. Remember, the average agent and typical salesperson is scared to death to invest like even $1,000 per week, you know, into themselves. You know, they just don't trust themselves enough, let alone $1,500 weekly into their advertising budget. And this is 100% why most agents will never see the kind of money that our top producing final expense telesales agents are making. Very simply put, if you're good and you're talented, none of that will matter if you're not willing to invest correctly and effectively into your sales business and or if maybe you don't have the work ethic that it takes to be super successful, let's not kid ourselves, guys. Sales is not for most people. And in my opinion, most of the people who are selling insurance aren't successful. Well, because I have to say it, they haven't put in the time and effort that it takes to learn how to overcome basic objections and or even close sales. Your typical life insurance agent makes a little more money than the average American worker makes. And we're talking around maybe 40 to $50,000 per year, which when you assume that most homes have at least two people who work full time, you know, supporting the family, that can, well, and it, it does work for the average American family. Right here in 2022, the average median household income is right around $75,000, even with the recession starting, you know, the recession going on. There was a point in my career when I knew that I had to be a better than average salesperson in order to, you know, to reach my financial goals. And this was when I got serious about working on myself and 
when I went from, you know, being a salesperson to a sales professional. I got into NLP, Neuro Linguistics Programming, and I studied like the art of influencing people. I mean, heck, I even got into meditation for a few years. The thing is, I think I saw a lot of success because I worked really hard on myself. I mean, really hard until I felt that like I had mastered the art of the sale. And then at that point, I was able to start working smarter. Truth is guys, hard work trumps talent every single time. And until the talent kicks in and you add that to the work ethic, and well, that's when your life starts to change. What's kind of messed up is that for most salespeople, it's actually a choice whether you want to be average or whether you want to excel at a high level. Most people just don't put in the work that it takes to be super successful. And that's why like, you know, you always hear the saying 10% of the insurance agents write 90% of the business. Allow me to challenge you to challenge yourself. At some point, you really need to ask yourself, am I okay with being average? Do I have it in me to be better? Am I willing to do what it takes to have the life that my family and I deserve. When you truly contemplate your need for success and ask yourself the right questions, I think this is when you start getting the right answers. I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? Change is usually pretty difficult. I mean, I get it, but it's necessary. If you don't change your thinking and your behavior, you're gonna keep getting the exact same results over and over and over. I mean, think about it. Is, is that really what you want? For a copy of the medical questions page that I mentioned earlier in the video, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. For more information on selling final expense or even Medicare insurance as an independent insurance agent, just email me at that same address. Remember guys, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now get out there and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.